Hello and welcome to Cupcake Addiction's Garden Cake Pop Tutorial where I'll be showing you how to make these adorable little garden cake pops perfect for so many occasions. Tools and equipment that we will be using today, I've got a little bit of water, some white sprinkles, some black melted candy melts, I've got some green sprinkles, some green melted candy melts, over here I've got just some actually pre-made fondant flowers, so they're a bit of an optional extra. I've got some yellow jelly beans and some red M&Ms. If you're going to use the jelly beans to make the little bees, do make sure that they're your smallish jelly beans, so not the big oversized ones, the jelly belly sized ones are perfect. One unmelted green candy melt. I've got my cake pot ball. Now that's been refrigerated for about 15 minutes, so it's nice and firm, and if you don't have a great recipe for getting your cake pops made and ready to dip and decorate, I will leave a link to the Cupcake Addiction recipe in the description box below. I've got some toothpicks, a lollipop stick, and I've got a Ziploc bag. I've also got just a pair of scissors. So let's get started. The first thing that we want to do today is we want to take our lollipop stick and our cake pop ball. So dip your lollipop stick into those melted green candy melts and we're just going to insert it into the top this time. Usually it's into the bottom, but into the top of that ball. So you just want to sit that off to the side and let that one set. And when you're putting it in, try and get it in as straight as possible. Now, I'm going to show you how to make both a bee and a little tiny ladybug, as you can see here are my two little demonstration ones. They're both really cute and this is a great thing to know for cupcakes and all sorts of different ideas. So, I'll show you how to make both of those today, just using a little bit of candy. So, you want to take your Ziploc bag, pop some of the black candy melts just in, and you really don't need very many. Three or four melts is probably enough. Just going to push them all the way down to the corner of the bag and let any air out before I seal it up. And then using my scissors, I'm just going to cut off a really fine little tip at the end. Make sure you know where your little plastic tip has gone so that you don't end up with it in one of your cupcakes. Alright, now for the ladybird, first of all, make sure that your M from the M&Ms is facing down and just dip the top third of your ladybird into that melted candy melt. I like to just shake it off so that it's sort of nice and rounded at the front. And then you can just sit it down and let that start to dry. With your little bumblebee, I love him, he's actually my favourite, I think he's just adorable. With your little bumblebee, we want to just pipe the little stripes onto him. So what you want to do here is you don't want to pipe directly on. Whenever I pipe, I'm always holding the bag about a half a centimetre above whatever I'm working on. And I always start a little bit further across and finish a little bit further on the other side. To come. One, two, three. Beautiful. Three little bee stripes and don't worry if they're not 100% perfect. He's just going to be a tiny little decoration on our beautiful finished cake pops. For your ladybird, don't move it because it's not going to be finished setting just yet. Just take your candy melt, one little line down the back and a couple of little dots. Beautiful. Now choose the side of your bee that you want to be the front. Just give him two little eyes and a smiley face. Lovely. Now with your bee, I've also got two little white sprinkles there, which I think I missed in my tools and equipment. You've got your two little white sprinkles, so these ones are just called sequins, and I'm just going to use a tiny, tiny bit of that black chocolate. I'm actually even just going to pick it up off the bench because you really don't need very much. Dip that in, and I'm just going to sit that wing into that still setting black line. I'm just going to support it there until it starts to go a little bit tacky. Once that one starts to go a little bit tacky, just do the same with your second wing. Alright, so once your bee's wings have set, then he's ready to go. And you just want to finish off your little ladybird. So I'm just going to take just a little blob of the melted dark again. Two little eye spots. You can leave him at that, but if you'd like to give him those defined white eyes like you can see on mine, just dip your toothpick in a little bit of that water which will allow it to moisten and you can pick up just one of those little white sprinkles and rest it down on that little piece of black candy melt that you've just laid down there. Lovely. So there you've got your little bee and your little ladybird. We'll pop those off to the side and then we can continue on with the rest of our decorating. Alright, so now it's time to get into the actual cake pot part. So this little unmelted green candy melt is going to form, I guess, a little bit of a foot for these cake pops. So we're going to take our cake pop and our melted candy melt and you just want to dip that cake pop in and give it a little twist 
Perfect. Now as you lift it out, you want to bring it over and you want to sit it down on top of that candy melt and just push it down. That's going to give you that nice little foot. Now take your candy pop or your cake pop and very quickly, before that green candy starts to set, you want to just give it a really nice coating of those green sprinkles. Alright, so all of your green sprinkles are on. Now, just sit your cake pot back down and just get down at eye level with it and make sure that you're happy that it's really nice and straight, that your little lollipop stick is straight because it will be setting but it will still be a little bit movable. Perfect, so I'm happy with that. Now, you want to take, if you're going to use little flowers, take your little flowers and one of those toothpicks and we're just going to apply them on and you can choose either your ladybird or your little bumblebee depending on which one you want to use or if you want to do an assortment. So for my flowers, just pop on a little tiny blob of green and affix it there. You can have as many or as few as you like and I actually think these look quite a bit like those little tapiary trees that people make beautiful shapes out of. We're using them as a bit more of a bush today but you could certainly change this design up in a lot of different ways. Beautiful, our little bumblebee, on he goes. So look at that, the most difficult part of this tutorial is in fact making those little tiny bees and those little tiny ladybirds just because they are so fiddly. This is a really versatile cake pop. I absolutely love it because it doesn't need a cake pop stand. These are standalone. So you can sit them on a table, sit them on a bench at a party and I always finish mine off with a little bit of ribbon in a corresponding colour. So to suit your theme or to suit the pop. I hope that you guys love this tutorial and thanks very much for tuning in to My Cupcake Addiction.